Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing and personal finance with the genuine hope that I'll be able to inspire someone to go ahead and get started with their financial freedom journey today. With that said, today we're going to go ahead and be getting into my Weeble portfolio. And so without further ado, let's get right into that. So as I said, we're getting right into my Weeble portfolio. And so as you can see, um, we are at the biggest loss that we've seen in the last year and a half, I believe, um, down $315.95 for a 16% loss on the whole portfolio. If you're new to the channel, I want you to know that I started a new uh, Weeble portfolio uh, goal, which is essentially to convert this Weeble portfolio that I previously had almost $20,000 into, um, into a uh, growth portfolio and so I left the stocks that I wanted to start my base with um, was around almost eighteen hundred nineteen hundred dollars um, for me to start with um, and I want to go ahead and build this to 10k and so the goal is to implement another five fifty five hundred dollars and then have the rest be uh, actual growth so we're looking for twenty five hundred dollars in growth with seventy five hundred dollars invested and that's our goal and as you can see it's not going very well so far but that's okay so we're gonna go ahead and get right into what exactly is going on as you can see Apple is at the forefront of everything we went ahead and bought one share about two weeks ago and uh, since we bought that share Apple's actually down three dollars and eighteen cents um, of course we're not worried about this at all because we know how solid of a company Apple is and it's actually an opportunity for us to buy in at a lower cost. Um, unfortunately, I haven't started receiving my first paychecks for my job yet, so I haven't been able to invest any type of money into the account. Um, and I kind of want to lower uh, the credit card debt that I have right now, um, just from moving and everything uh, before I start investing into um, my portfolios again. But uh, next up, we do have uh, Antero Midstream, uh, ticker symbol AM. And we have this at a current market value of $43.76 um, with the four shares that we have. Um, these were shares that we actually received from a referral. Who um, we actually referred, we're not sure, but we are very grateful for the referral. Um, and so right now we've gained $3.80 on this position and we are up almost 10%. Uh, next up, we do have Whitehorse Financial. Um, we are up uh, 37 cents, which is a two and a half percent gain so far. Um, we do plan to buy more shares of Whitehorse Financial. Um, they actually give a, a considerate dividend um, if you look at their quotes. So if you go here, you can see that they actually give a dividend of $1.42. Um, and so we're thinking about going ahead and heightening our position, definitely buying about 50 shares of this stock. Now this um, portfolio, like I said, is more focused on growth. So uh, we're not gonna uh, have this be a huge position in the portfolio and make up you know, a lot of the portfolio out allocation, but um, having this in there will provide us with a little bit of income to go ahead and buy other shares of stocks when we don't have the money in particular. And so next up, we do have Hylion Holdings. And as you can see, Hylion Holdings is down $25.34, uh, which is about a 25% loss on the position. It's actually a really good time to go ahead and buy in on Hylion. Now, Hylion is a speculative EV stock, and it's one of the stocks that I truly believe will have much success just like uh, Tesla. The other would be Workhorse Group, and I know I'm skipping a couple of stocks, but I'll get back to them. Uh, which is down $101.18 for a 62% loss. Now, you may be wondering why I'm smiling about this. Um, I'm the type of investor that I like to buy the dip. Um, not in all cases, but uh, if I be truly believe in a company, um, seeing it at a discounted price is just making it more attractive to me. So in this case, um, Workhorse Group is one of those companies where I would go ahead and buy more shares, get a higher position, and hopefully the return in the long run would be greater from that. Um, we do have a share of Airbnb, which is finally starting to perform well in the market. Um, it is up $169.51. 
and we've gained $20.45 so far for an almost 14% return. Uh, we do have one share here. Of course, we would love to go ahead and heighten that position, maybe get about 10 shares in the uh, portfolio. Uh, as far as Rocket Companies go, you can see that it's our biggest position in the portfolio, and that's because we're super bullish on Rocket Companies, uh, regardless of the fact that it's down $271.42, which is a 26% loss. Um, it's at $15.05. I've only seen it at this price one other time, so um, that's actually exciting for me. But like I said, I just being realistic, I do not have the money to go ahead and you know buy more shares right now. Um, these are things that you want to prioritize. Like you want to make sure that you are able to, um, like when you're investing, you want to make sure that you are able to invest that money and be able to afford that you're investing that amount of money in your uh, portfolios and Roth IRAs because you don't want to get into a position where you're, you get into a situation where something happens um, because there's always something that happens and you're not able to pay for that. So I have an emergency fund um, and I just don't touch that money when it comes to um, investing in the stock market. So that's essentially when I say I don't have money, it's not that I don't have money. It's just that I have an emergency fund that I refuse to touch. Um, when it comes to the stock market. I have uh, money that's allocated just purely for investing and money that's allocated to be saved uh, for you know unforeseen situations. Um, next up, we do have uh, Shaw Communications, which is one of my favorite stocks, um, especially Canadian stocks. Uh, we have a market value of $148.60 right now with the five shares that we have. It's up uh, $59.23 since we've uh, bought it, and that is a 66% return on the position so far. Um, we bought it at $17.87. It is now $29.72. We would have loved to have gotten in um, on, at an earlier convenience because we had our eye on Shaw Communications back when it was about $14 a share, um, and we'd love to heighten that position as well. Um, we do have DraftKings as our last position in the portfolio and so far DraftKings is just staying mum, not really doing much. It is up $1.32 for a 0.55% return. Um, so not too much to talk about there. DraftKings is a position that I do believe in and so at the very least I would like to get 10 positions or 10 shares into th this portfolio. With that said, that's pretty much the video today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would just take a short moment to go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, join the journey with us. We are trying to reach 500 uh, subscribers as well as 1,000. We'd like to reach 1,000 by February 12th, which is my birthday. Um, but if you're new to the journey here, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, and have a blessed day.